Now there is a practical question. Again, because it needs practice, how to work out a cash flow statement? And in fact, this is one of the difficult statements we find to prepare. I used to suggest to students that there should be a working paper and use that working paper, opening, closing, differences, and then reconcile those differences and see whether there is inflow or outflow. But anyhow, so these are again two years balance sheets. Let me just give you uh, share capital paid up. Then we have general reserve. Then we have retained earning, and this is part of equity. The total equity comes through, and then we have non-current liabilities debentures. Debentures are loan, and then we have uh, trade payables. We have provision for taxes and total liabilities and equity. So total liabilities and equity is equal to total assets. Now, net current liability, uh, non-current liabilities are there. Property, plant, and uh, current assets are there, and uh, property, plant, accumulated depreciation, and we have uh, intangible assets. So this is another assets which is uh, uh, non-current, intangible, intangible which don't have the physical, physical substance, like goodwill. It's a good name of a business. The patent copyrights is a simple rights. So they know they don't have, but still we pay for it. And if we pay for it, it's an outflow. Okay. In, and if we amortize it, in, if we reduce it, it means we are not pay, we are not getting any money out of it, but we are charging that loss to the uh, profit and loss account as a depreciation, as an amortization. So adjustment is in the profit and loss. Then current assets inventory, we got prepaid expense, we got short term investments. Now this short term investments is a part of cash and cash equivalent. If they are short term, if they are long term, then they are the investment activity. But if they are short term, they are, then we have trade receivables, then we have cash and bank balance. Now look here in the cash and bank balance, you have opening 4,500 and now you got closing 3200 which means that in the whole year there is a drop in cash by 800 and these figures are in thousands actually then total again balance sheet equals now there is they haven't given you the full statement of income they have just given you the comprehensive statement of income and there is operating profit given separately then we have financial charges and then we have before tax and then we have less tax and we got the profit after tax and that will be added to the retained earning in the balance sheet. Now figure of 46,350 is operating profit and clearly it is before interest in tax. So we start from here to prepare the statements. Now the additional information <coughs> regarding this uh, income statement and balance sheet. A plant originally cost 20 million having a book value of 6 million and that 6 million is after taking out a 14 million depreciation on this particular plant which you have sold for 9.8 million. Straight away 9.8 million is your cash inflow and so for profit of 3.8 million is concerned it is taken to profit and loss account so we need to remove it from the profit and loss account because we are taking the whole amount as a inflow in the investing activity. Depreciation expenses and amortization, again, we have given the operating profit. It means they have already taken care of this depreciation and amortization. So we have to add back those two figures. No change in the value of short of investment. So it is a part of cash and cash equivalent. So it will be adjusted towards the end of the cash flow statement. Now, <laughs> dividend of 8 million were declared and paid by the company during the year. It clearly given that we have paid, so it is an outflow, and that outflow will be reported as a financing activity because it is paid to the shareholder. Now, if there is a dividend received, let's say if you invested somewhere and you got a dividend income, now that income will be, if you receive, will be reported normally in the operating activity, but alternatively, it can be reported 
in the investing activities because it is out of the investing activities. Thank you very much.